Hey there, this is Al Cobb with the SIP School, and I want to do a tool review with you real quick. This is one of the newest tools to hit the market that the SIP industry may find very unique because although it looks like a chainsaw and acts like a chainsaw, it doesn't take gas and it doesn't take an electric cord. That's right, it's completely cordless. Now, if you're familiar with uh, using chainsaws in the industry, you're probably familiar with seeing any number of types of saw bases where the chainsaw clamps into the base, and this gives you a nice solid base to use a chainsaw. The chainsaws that we use, typically electric, although you could use a gas chainsaw, but that's not what we're here to talk about. I want to introduce you to the Oregon. It's called the Oregon CS250. I think it's a pretty interesting saw, most importantly because it's powered with a 40 volt lithium ion battery. That battery is going to plug directly into a charger, just like you plug a charger into any other type of cordless tool. When inserted into the 250, it locks in place. The saw also has a place for the oiler to keep oil on the chain. You'll find that the tool right out of the box comes with only a 12 inch bar. It's not quite enough to get very much capacity when you're talking about a thick panel. This saw has been <clears throat> adopted only in that we have put a longer bar. This is a 16 inch bar, so when adapted to the SIP school aluminum base plate, now what we have is a full 12 inches of cutting capacity. Gets you through most of the panels you'd be wanting to cut. So we're set up with the aluminum plate, we've got 40 volts of lithium ion power, we've got a blade stop, we re-engage that, we've set our saw base to whatever angle it is we want to set, and we're cutting with power. Let's see how it works. When working with these types of tools, you have to be mindful of the safety switch. In some cases, the configuration of your hand may be semi-awkward, but to hold the trigger with the safety switch is something that you soon get used to. Plenty of power to cut through a wood skin panel with 7 16ths of an inch or 7 16ths inch skin on both sides. More than enough power to do fabrication and in the field when you're dealing with a cordless battery as opposed to a tethered to an electrical cord, it's quite an option for those people who are out in the field fabricating a structural insulated panel. So touche to the Oregon people for coming up with this cordless chainsaw. That's your SIP tip of the day. To have the opportunity to use this tool and many others here at the school, we encourage you to check out the school's curriculum online at sipschool.org where you can join us for one of the many classes that we offer to teach you how to be a better installer. We're looking forward to seeing you soon at one of our classes. Take care.